Okay, guys. Um, one other thing I want to do with the, the whole virtual box and working with virtual boxes, <clears throat> go through how to switch you guys between different virtual box modes. That can be a little confusing sometimes. Uh, the other thing I want to do is just quickly go through how to cut and paste a screenshot from your virtual box into your uh, your um, Word document or your Word processor again, just so that we have it in a in a particular spot that I can always refer you guys to. So one thing you'll notice, I'm sitting here with my uh, thing. I'm not even going to go past logging in because I, I don't need to. Um, right now I'm in a mode that's called seamless mode or scale mode. I'm sorry, and uh, that means that my whole window is scaled down to be whatever size it's it, it looks like it is. It's I believe the default here is set up to be a 1024 by 768 uh, screen. Um, the full window that you're seeing this in is, uh, uh, I believe it's 1280 by 720. So obviously some scrolling would have to um, have to happen for this whole screen to be able to fit in place. So if I hit the, the host key, which is the right control button, um, and the C key at the same time. Oops. There we go. It popped up in my other window. Um, you see that I've moved from um, the mode I was in to this current mode. Now this is um kind of a full mode so i got to scroll it's just your standard mode the only problem with this mode is that it's it's a little hard to work with the nice part about this mode is that it does let you access your um your other drives so if you put something in your cd drive on your uh, on your computer and you want to get access to it then you can actually access it by right clicking down here going to your host uh drive uh, or if you have an ISO that you want to load, you can kind of choose the ISO from the uh, this file here. So it lets you do things like that. It also gives you an indicator on if uh, your inputs are being captured. If the green light's on in the corner where it says right control, then that means what you're doing is getting captured. I hit right control, it goes off. I click away, I click back, it goes back on. Um, when you go to um, do cutting and pasting, let's bring the word up for a second. You can't cut and paste when that light is on. So you need to hit control to get the light to go off, then alt and print screen at the same time. Then you come over here and you paste. And you'll notice that I haven't edited my picture, but I'm only getting just that one window. Uh, the reason is, is that's my active screen. If I wanted to actually take a, a screen grab of my active screen of my Word document or my Word program here, and I was to do uh, Alt Print Screen now, just watch how the it looks different. Uh, that in the right spot. Let's see. There we go. So you can see that I ended up getting all of the uh, the word processor, so that processor in that particular screen grab. That's because that was my Active Directory. Now I don't need that file, but I did want this one. So remember, again, whatever program you want to capture, it's Alt and the Print Screen button. Uh, if you're talking about a virtual machine, you have to make sure that the green light is uh, off. And you do that by hitting Control or right Control, then Alt Print Screen. Then you paste, and you're good. Now, getting back to um, the other modes. 
pretty easy when you're in this mode. I can just go up to view and I can say, well, let's switch back to my scale mode. And now I'm in scale mode. Now, I can do that same print screen in scale mode without issue. I just got to hit control, or the right control once, and alt print screen. And then I come over here. And you'll see how this looks a little different in a second. Notice I got the whole screen. Notice one thing I don't get in this case is I don't get the indicator. So I don't get to see if the right control key is turned on or not. So that's just something you've got to be a little bit careful of. But every t if you're not sure if it's on or not, just come out of the window, click away, click back in there, and that control, that whole capture thing is on again. So then you just hit control, alt, print screen, come back over to your document, and uh, paste. Remember, it's almost always easier for you to make your logs of working with your virtual machine this way because otherwise you're having to type up all the details or write down all the details of what's going on and uh, while this file will be a lot bigger than if you typed it all out and described it uh, it's going to probably be a whole lot more helpful to you if you ever need to use it in the future and uh, if you're submitting this log to, um, to someone like me while you're uh, doing your labs or what have you uh, it makes it a whole lot easier for me to see if you guys made a mistake or something because um, I can tell if things are installed properly by the way certain things look and certain screens come up and and all that fun stuff so on that note I'm just going to uh, go and hope that uh, these videos help you guys out so I'll talk to you guys later uh, again remember um, it's the host key and the C button over here, which I probably didn't show you. Um, so host key and C will keep throwing me through a different window. Will bring you into uh, your standard mode. Host key and C again will bring you back to uh, the uh, the, the scaled mode. Uh, I think you're going to find you scale mode more than the other one just because everything fits on your screen. Anyhow, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys again soon.